Red Wing was a combination of three companies. The first company was 1877. It was Red Wing Stoneware. It's across the road. The second company is Minnesota Stoneware. This was in 1883. Minnesota Stoneware is on the site of where we are right now. It was part of that four-story brick building beyond the parking lot. In 1892, another company, the third company, was North Star Stoneware. It's just down the block on this side. As you can see, all three companies were next to each other. North Star was the last of the three companies. It started in 1892 and it went to 1896. In 1896, the other two companies bought out the ownership of the company. You guys are going to see all three companies made basically exactly the same thing. They were just a little bit different. Here is the picture or the building of North Star. As you can see, all the different items that North Star made. This is basically a complete collection of all the items North Star made. Minnesota Stoneware goes back to 1883, and it was in business until 1906. Again, here is what the building looked like. We're standing on the site of the Minnesota Stoneware building. In the 1890s, one of these three companies, the Minnesota Company, was the largest producer of stoneware in the nation. So you can imagine how much Red Wing, how much stoneware came out of Red Wing, Minnesota, with one of the companies being the largest. Again, you can see, again, how they all made similar items. Red Wing stoneware goes back to 1877 and they operated until 1906. Again, if an item is stamped on the sides, as you can see here, these are hand-turned pieces. And here's an example of one of the stamps that was used. If they're marked on the bottom, which you can see over here, that means it was a molded piece. Very few of the hand-turned pieces were ever marked. A much higher percentage of molded pieces were marked. As you go through here, again, you can see how each company made similar items, but the shapes were just a little bit different. 